then you shake it up and it's purple. Oh my gosh, I match. <gasps> we match. I didn't do that on purpose, but like what a nice kawinky thing. And it's like almost a perfect match. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to the Clean Beauty Code. I'm so excited for this video because we're doing a fun video. We are doing a roundup of the new clean setting sprays that have launched in the last couple of months or so. And I've been trying and testing them out. Been trying and testing them out against conventional brands and other brands that I have, like just in general, across the board. I've been testing them against everything and I definitely have some thoughts and I'm really excited to share them with you guys. So we're gonna be doing like full review breakdown then I'm gonna compare and contrast to specific ones I've mentioned on this channel that you might have questions about. Um, and yeah, I just wanna kinda jump into this video and get started. So if you're excited for this video and more videos like this, then please like and subscribe. And without further ado, let's get into this new clean setting spray video. All right, you guys, new clean setting sprays. Let's get into it. So we only have a handful of products that have launched so far. I know that there's going to be more kind of launching later on, but we have a handful right here that we're going to be talking about. And then we're going to kind of compare and contrast really quickly. I'm not going to get too, too in depth because I think the reviews themselves um, will kind of give you an idea of where the setting sprays kind of lie. So I have three new setting sprays that I want to talk about. One is from the brand Euphoria love their packaging it's very much giving a little lisa frank but maybe slightly more sophisticated but also lisa frank's the bomb and then we have the exa beauty setting spray and then we also have this one from cali ray beauty jazzed so let's get into it first one i want to talk about is this one the cali ray beauty one this is their the Cali Ray Beauty Sunproof Setting Spray. Um, and always shake your setting sprays. I know not ever, you just kind of like spray and go, but shaking your setting spray can sometimes be all the difference. So I always shake and I wanna kind of talk through this mist first. That's gonna be part of this because I feel like sometimes mists make the biggest difference. So let's, let me show you how this mist is. So this is a very fine mist, as you can see, and it doesn't, it doesn't like spread too far, which is a good thing because sometimes when you get a bunch of setting spray in your hair, you're like, okay, I could have just done a double spray. It doesn't have to be a spray that like completely encompasses my face, but to be fair, I have a small face. So like everything kind of just like completely covers my face, but it's a nice, do you see that like mist? Um, and if I, let's say spray my face, I'll just do a, a light spray. It really, it can be far, but it still hits your face. Can you see? It still like hit my face, but it wasn't like it was unbelievably close, right? Which I actually really enjoy. I really like the mist. Now there is a scent and the scent is coconutty, but also beachy at the same time. It really, really, the scent reminds me so much of summertime and I love it. I love anything that like, you know, a scent that just brings you to like a time of year. I love that. That just makes me so happy because sometimes dead of winter, you need a little bit of sunshine. You need a little bit of something to bring you out from the winter sadness. And a spray like this with the scent is amazing. If you are sensitive to scents, this spray, the scent doesn't linger, but it does linger for a few seconds and then it kind of goes away. So it's not like it's going to like, you're not going to be smelling it all day, but People who are sensitive to scents, this might not be your favorite setting spray just because that there is a scent with it. Now let's get into the product. Now this is meant to be a hydrating and long wearing um, setting spray. For a long wearing setting spray, and this is definitely a product that makes my makeup last longer, for a long wearing setting spray, what's interesting about this is it doesn't have the tack that some long wearing setting sprays have. Um, if you have ever used, let's say, the Charlotte Tilbury setting spray and it does have like a tack to the face and it can be kind of uncomfortable at times depending on how much you spray or how dry your skin is, I find that something that has like that grip can be an uncomfortable wear, especially once your, your face is kind of adjusting to the mist to being on it and it drying down. So this doesn't have that, which I really, really enjoy. Um, again, the mist is really, really light and fine. So it doesn't drench your face, which I know a lot of people don't love when their face gets like completely soaked, but it does 
wet your face <laughs> it does wet your face but it isn't feeling like whoa i'm i'm overdid it or anything like that because again the mist is so so light i do find this also to be hydrating um and i don't feel like it is like sometimes again the ones that are very very long wearing like all day wear sometimes they can be super super tacky and because of the tackiness it can make your face feel a little bit dry this does not do that which i really really enjoy now in terms of finish i would say that the finish is more of a natural finish um i don't feel like it gives me dewiness but i don't feel like it makes my face look flat it kind of just makes my face look like it would naturally, um, which I actually really enjoy. And this isn't one that I necessarily have to spray my face, let it dry. And then once it's dry, take a wet beauty sponge and kind of like push it into the face to make my face feel more comfy, but also to make it feel like it's all kind of settled in. However, I do prefer using a beauty sponge to kind of tap it all in because I just feel like that just makes your makeup last even longer. I swear. Um, if you ever feel like, oh, my face feels like super dewy when I use a setting spray or oh my face feels a little bit tight or too tacky taking a, a wet beauty sponge I mean even a dry one and kind of tapping it all into the face once it's kind of settled in is ideal because it kind of just like makes it look a lot better than it would if you just sprayed and go because tapping it in really does make all the difference with setting spray. Now, I really, really do enjoy this setting spray. I do find it long wearing. I do feel like it extends the wear of my makeup. I really, really enjoy the way that this makes my makeup look, how it makes my skin feel. And this is one that, unlike other setting sprays that are super long wearing, I mean, other setting sprays, you can do this, but unlike other setting sprays that I've used that are super long wearing, this is one where I can reapply it and I don't feel like I just feel like it's refreshing my face if I feel like my skin is feeling dry or I need just a little boost of something. This is nice to reapply, which I really like. Again, don't forget to shake it because I feel like a lot of the time people forget, including myself, to shake setting sprays and then they just don't work as well as they would if you didn't shake, if you shook them. So make sure you shake this. Um, I really, really enjoy this. Scent is great. If you don't like scent or you can't use scent, then this is definitely not going to be for you because it does have a scent. It's not a bad scent. I actually really enjoy it, but I know a lot of people kind of steer away from that. So that's something to note, but I do really, really enjoy this and I love how it makes my makeup look and I love how long it makes my makeup wear. Very, very nice. Okay, next. Which of these two? Okay, let's do Exa Beauty next. So this is the Exa Beauty, what is this called? Dual Shield Glow Mist. And as you can see, it has two colors, but then you shake it up and it's purple. Oh my gosh, I match. We match. I didn't do that on purpose, but like, what a nice kawinky dink. And it's like almost a perfect match. Love to see it. Yeah, this is a meant to be a hydrating, long wearing setting spray. Now, def you definitely need to shake it. If you do not shake this, mistake one. It's gonna be a nightmare. Mm -hmm. Just trust me. Shake it. Once you shake it, what I will say is, I think that this is gonna work for a very specific type of skin. I think this is going to work for people who have dry skin. I think if you have oily skin or combo skin, this is not for you because it definitely has a little bit of an oil cast. Now I'm going to spray this for you so you can see. Do you see that mist? It's kind of very direct. It is a fine mist, but the way that the mist is, is it kind of goes out like this and the top and the bottom have the most amount of spray and then the middle doesn't have as much spray. So I really have to like Now, when I spray it, I have to be careful to not get it on my hair because of the way that the mist is. Um, Cause I have to like kind of, again, spray it like a multiple times all over my face and like kind of hit different points because it does make my hair oily because of the oils in it. Now, I don't mind the oils in it, but with how my skin is, it really depends on where I'm at with this one. This isn't one I could necessarily use year round just because of my combo skin. Now, this has a scent as well. This has more of a eucalyptus, a lavendery, tea tree oil, kind of like a more herby smell. Ooh, I'm not loving that description, but it has more of an herby smell to it. Um, I feel like it is lavender. 
but it also could be eucalyptus. I'm not good with like the more earthy scents, but it is a very, very nice scent. This one also kind of dissipates after a little bit. It doesn't last for like minutes or anything like that. Like after a couple seconds, you're not really smelling it. What I will say is this leaves an oily cast to my face. And so I have to, like, I have to set my face with powder. A requirement, not even a question. I'm gonna spray my hand just so you can see. So I sprayed my hand and this definitely has like a good amount of oil in it. Not in a bad way, but in a way where you want to know that there's oil in it, especially if you have oily skin, because I do think this does. I don't think it doesn't make my makeup last long. It does actually make my makeup last long, but this is one where I have to spray my face, let it dry. And by let it dry, I mean, I need like six minutes if I'm gonna get a full dry down, especially if I spray it before I do my mascara because I want my eyelashes to fully dry before I go on with mascara. Then I have to take a beauty sponge and I just tap all over my face and make sure it's all kind of settled in because if not, I look like I dipped my face in a, in a fryer and it's not a good look. So then I kind of let it settle in and then I go on with my makeup. I like to set my face with powder afterwards because if I don't, my under eyes with mascara will run, unfortunately. I have, my mascara tends to run to begin with um, because I do have weepy eyes and I do tend to get a little bit oily. And so right here, so I do get raccoon eyes, which isn't ideal. And this does, if I'm not careful, make my raccoon eyes worse um, or just make a mascara run that would normally run. So I have to be careful. So I like to spray my face before my mascara, let it settle in. Okay, then apply the mascara once my lashes are dry and then I'm in a good spot, but I also have to 197,000% set my face with powder. If not, I'm looking a sweaty mess. I'm looking a sweaty mess, but I'm also looking raccoony, and that's not cute. So I really, really enjoy setting, like kind of pushing it into the skin and then I'm in a way better spot setting it with setting powder and then I really enjoy the way my makeup looks especially on a day where I'm feeling like my face is really tight um even though right now it is just the dehydrated nightmare outside even right now for the fact that it's so dry outside this is not one that I'm grabbing all the time this is definitely something for an occasion but it's not something that's like a year round oh I can use this all the time unlike the Cali Ray Beauty one this is a nice setting spray but again an occasion setting spray for me but I do really really enjoy it you just have to find the best way for it to work for you especially for the makeup that you're wearing with it does that make sense you let me know you let me know if you've tried this. I'd love to know your thoughts down below. Okay, next, next we have this one. This is the Euphoria. what is this called? Moisturizing, moisturizing setting spray. Now this is meant to be a long lasting setting spray that is um, hydrating and is good against, like protecting against pollutants. Um, I have no way to prove if that's accurate or not, but this is the mist. So it's more of an intense mist. This actually reminds me of a setting spray that I'm going to talk about in a little bit that I really enjoy the mist. It sounds intense, but it doesn't feel like it's like assaulting your face. But the way that it sprays is like very, let me, just very nice. It definitely can drench your face, but if you hold it far enough away, it doesn't have to completely drench your face, face, face if you use a bunch of sprays. Now, I really enjoy the way that this makes my skin look. I like to wear this also underneath makeup, like before I apply makeup. Um, I also like to wear it on top of makeup. This is one that I feel like will really, really work if you have dry skin and combo skin, but I'm not so sure if you have oily skin, how much you will enjoy this, because again, it is a really hydrating mist, but it also depends on your skin and how you prep your skin, because a lot of the time, not always, but a lot of the time, People with oily skin have really dehydrated skin, so something like this could really work. Um, I really enjoy this. This definitely does make my makeup last longer. Um, I enjoy the way it makes my makeup look. I feel like the finish is very natural and nice. I'm not feeling like it's overly dewy, so I don't feel like I'm overly dewy like right away. This is one that I do, again, like to tap in my makeup. 
with it once I've sprayed because it just really does make all the difference of how it wears throughout the day. And I think if you struggle again with any setting sprays and you feel like they're too dewy or they feel uncomfortable on your skin, taking a beauty sponge and just tapping it all into the face will make a complete difference. I mean, you can probably tell a difference from when I just tap that all in. It is really, really nice. I enjoy it. This has no scent, which is really nice. I know a lot of people are going to love that. Um, again, the mist is really nice. This is kind of my preferred mist. I My preferred mist is kind of this type that's a very like light mist or one that's like she she's telling you she's here to mist. And she she's not confusing anyone with why she's here, right? Like I really like these two types of mists because they just kind of, they sit on my face. Really, really nice. They melt my makeup into the skin, but they aren't... The way that they mist is like intentional. I feel like sometimes, like with the Exa Beauty, I feel like the way that the mist is, is it kind of sprays all over your face, but the middle again, it feels like it's missing. So then I feel like the bulk of the product is one way. Um, whereas these ones are not like that. It's very like direct to your face. Um, I actually really, really enjoy this. I like the way that it, again, I like to set like put it on my face before I do my makeup. That's actually my preferred way to use this setting spray. Um, I don't know why, I just feel like it does such, it just makes my face feel really plumped up and I let, I spray my face, kind of let it settle in and then I'll do the rest of my makeup and I feel like it is just such a nice addition to my make, makeup routine because I don't always set my face after I do my makeup. Sometimes I just want a little bit of a primer, a little bit of something to really grip on. And I know face, like, prep can be your primer but sometimes it's not enough and so this is really really nice i enjoy the way it makes my skin look feel i'm a really really big fan now i know i'm going to get questions of which one of these is my favorite the calorie beauty out of these three is my favorite because of the mist the scent and the way that it really the way that it makes my skin look overall my skin really likes this and this is one where regardless of kind of where i'm at with my combo skin whether i'm dry whether i'm oily whether i'm begging for moisture um, and dehydrated as all we'll get out this is really going to be one that's easy to wear no matter what if that makes sense and I like a year-round setting spray. I don't like a setting spray where I have to. I mean, I still like them, but I, I prefer something that I don't have to think about as much. And when I spray my face, it just is always going to work. And this happens to be one of those. The Euphoria one actually, I think, also is like that. But I think that this one is a little bit more hydrating than this one. Both really, really good. Now let's talk about these compared to other setting sprays. So I have a bunch here and I also have a few that I didn't grab and I should have, but that's okay, I'll just mention them. So one, I have the Jason Will Beauty setting spray, I have the PYT setting spray, I have the Lawless setting spray, and then I also have the Ilia setting spray. Now I really enjoy all of these. My favorites out of all of these are most, are probably these two. Um, the Glam Guard from Lawless and the PYT setting spray. All of these are great though. I really, really also enjoy the Jason Wu Beauty one and it's very affordable. Um, the Ilia one, I like less than all of these just because I feel like the mist is not really the best mist. So I'm gonna show you the mist. Do you see? It's kind of over time, you really gotta like press down, but sometimes it'll get stuck and that's kind of annoying the component, but you really gotta press down. And it still isn't like a direct mist all over your face. It'll kind of like point down a little bit, or at least this one, which I've had for a while, over time, the, the component, like the mister, hasn't been that great, but I do really enjoy this. It does make my makeup last really, really long, um, but compared to the other ones, it isn't my favorite. Now, compared to the um, Urban Decay setting spray and the Charlotte Tilbury setting sprays, which are both ones I've mentioned on this channel before, um, again, they, it doesn't make my makeup last quite as long as those, so then again, like this wouldn't be necessarily better than those because I'm getting a setting spray. I want it to be hydrating and long wearing. Okay, next I have the Jason Wu Beauty setting spray and this is the mist on that one. And this is a very direct setting spray. Like it's very like, <laughs> but I like that. Um, and this is a very fine mist. And this is 
their, they call it their magic spell setting spray and it's meant to be more mattifying. Now for me, I don't find like it mattifies my face a ton. It does have a little bit of mattifying, which is nice if you're going with a lot of dewy products um, because as we all know, the dewiness is gonna do more. And so, it's gonna do more. But, um, so this is really, really nice for that. I also feel like it, to me, it mattifies a little bit, but I feel like it has more of a natural finish on my skin at least, and the way that my skin kind of interacts with it, but I really enjoy it, and it does make my makeup last really, really long. Okay, so then next I have the PYT setting spray. Now the PYT setting spray and the Euphoria setting spray, the mists are really, really similar. I mean, you can even hear it, right? just like really direct, very light scent, but still a scent. I would say that the Ilia one has a slight scent as well. Um, and this one, touch, but like barely any scent. This is a really nice setting spray. This um, makes my makeup last all day. It doesn't make my makeup look anything other than, like it doesn't make it more dewy or more matte. It really gives it like a nice natural finish to the face. Um, and when it sprays, it doesn't soak my face crazy, but it does do, like it really does get in there and the nooks and crannies. I really, really enjoy this. This is one of my favorite setting sprays and the scent is very clean and light. Okay, so the next, next I have this one. This is the Lawless setting spray. Um, and this is a really nice setting spray. So I'm gonna, the mist is very fine. So I really have to, ch 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 this is like a multiple sprayer, but the, the spray doesn't go everywhere. So it's not gonna get in your hair or anything. So it's just, oh, you see that? I really enjoy this setting spray and I really enjoy the mist. I would say that this is this mist and this mist are very, very similar and definitely the most fine mists out of all of them. Um, the Lala setting spray definitely keeps my makeup lasting all day, gives me a nice natural finish um, and doesn't make me feel like my face is tight or anything. I don't know, I really, really enjoyed this. Out of all of them, these two are definitely my current go-to faves and then the next are these ones and this one. Um, I really enjoy setting sprays. Do you use setting sprays? I would love to know down below and if you don't, why don't you? I would love to know. It really does change the makeup game, just don't forget what beauty sponge. It doesn't have to be wet, but I prefer it to be matte wet because it has more bounce. And you just kind of tap everything in and it's just everything. It's so good. Completely changes the makeup game. And yeah, that's it for this video. That is it for my new setting spray video. I would love to know what is your favorite setting spray. Let me know down below. Um, and if you don't use setting spray, again, let me know what. I would love to know. I don't use it all the time, but I do feel like if it's an event or something, or oh, I'm sorry, or summer, I need a setting spray. I'm gonna look like a drowned rat within 14 seconds. Let me know down below. And yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.